the recording? Is that the questions I prepared? And this is Mr. Christian Stadil's book. I read most of it. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you. Now, I got my own special guest here today. Michelle is a talk show host here in Rotterdam. And I contacted her in November for our first talk show. And she agreed to help me. So we Skype, we met up, and she helped me a lot. And she's gonna be here as well. <laughs> this is Michelle. Here. Yo, yo. I just had to talk with the CEO of Shell, it was great. Really? Yeah, it was it was very nice. And um, we're about to come to the event in five minutes. Winston taking over, Niels, all the people here. If you want to learn about entrepreneurship, there's two ways to learn it. Either you learn by doing, or you ask somebody who has a lot of experience in the field. And I believe that nobody has more experience in the field than our first keynote speaker. With 120 companies in his portfolio, he's written several books about business, and he's a member of Denmark Shark Tank. Please welcome Christian Sally. Starting off, uh, and as agreed with Jeroen Frans, uh, I come bearing gifts. Uh, as a part of our group, uh, we also have the company Hummel. And uh, one of the sponsorships we have is uh, the sponsorship of the free town, of the hippie town of Christiania. And we actually, we're the only official sponsor of Christiania since this free town opened in 1972. We are the generation Y because we're asking why we're doing a certain thing. How important is it for a company to inspire its employees through a vision, through this corporate social responsibility that they're solving a problem, rather than through just profit and making money? And it was so good, the guy was so nice, he signed my book. I feel like we're doing Jon, Jon, Jon's Olsen vlog. <laughs> I'm like filming you. <laughs> So now we're going to meet the former Prime Minister of the Netherlands. I'm very excited. How excited are you? Like this? Here we go. I'm Franz, I'm going to host you guys. We actually met once before in this very venue during the Rotterdam 100. I don't know if you remember. I remember your face. Yeah, I was sitting in the front. We had an intense discussion about automation and how it's going to destroy jobs. But um, I wish it could have been a, a more intense discussion. But after 30 hours, we've got to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I believe the next speaker doesn't really need an introduction because for most people he's known. Please welcome with me, Jan Peter Balke, the former Prime Minister of the Netherlands. Hi, good to see you. Uh, Mr. Bach doesn't need any introduction, that's not true. Uh, I went to the, uh, the parking garage under the museum square, uh, and there was a girl who assisted all the car drivers that you could enter quickly. And she uh, recognized me, hey, I know you from television. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, I'm a famous uh, TV presenter. Indeed, she said. <laughs> and the next day I was again there, and I was walking on the museum square, going to the Rex Museum, and then some guy, 16, 17 years old, hey, Rutte, almost right. <laughs> Hey guys, this is about to check in. Franz left his camera somewhere, so he's busy right now. So, EAD takes over. For so far, it was an awesome day. We had Franz as our host, which is a great guy, and that's Amir. But that's not all, because an ex board member of Uni Partners is also here with his startup, which is the VR room. Super crazy. I'm sure that Franz uh, took video footage of it at the time that I didn't steal his camera. Do you see the camera? Oh, yeah, I see the camera. <laughs> Wow, this is so cool, man. <laughs> what are those? 
So how was the party? It's not done yet. No, no, it's not done. It was great for so still far. Still the pitch competition. We still have the pitch competition. We've had Balkan in there, many, many great speakers. Super awesome up till now. But now, actually, the one of the coolest things yet to come because the students right now are going to pitch. Yeah, and free beer afterwards. And free beer afterwards. But you know, it's both really cool. Yeah. We'll check it out. See you later. I think over the next days I will finally understand how great it was but now that the dust is starting to settle I guess it's just time to clean up Thank you.